Hi, I'm Tom from Tom Make It Photography and this is another tip of the day. Today I'm going to show you why sometimes it makes more sense to use Photoshop to fix the horizon in your photograph rather than Lightroom. So in my previous video, I've actually mentioned at some point that I actually use Photoshop to fix the horizon line of my photograph. And many of you have asked me, why don't you use Lightroom instead? Well, this is why. So to do, show you, I've actually taken a photograph yesterday of my daughter and I made sure that it was actually not straight. So here it is. Um, what we're going to do inside Lightroom, in a develop module, we're going to use the crop tool. This is the tool that you have here. And basically, you know how to use it, I suppose. You basically click here in the field or directly on the cursor, and we're going to move to the left until we get this horizon corrected. And I think here it's a pretty good one. Before I comment and click enter, what we can already see is that uh, we bound to lose some information in that photograph as we rotate it. Uh, so basically every single edge of that image is going to be trimmed. So here what I can do is I can go up and down to see how I would like the crop to be um, at the end. I want to have more flowers, so I'm positioning it this way. Now I'm gonna press enter to comment and here is the result, the horizon has been fixed. So what I'd like to do now is look at the original image and actually do the same thing inside Photoshop and then we can compare. So in Photoshop, I already opened uh, the image and you have two of them, you have the actually identical one. So I'm just gonna modify this one. So we are going to use the crop tool. The crop tool is the icon that you have here in the toolbar, if you do not know uh, the crop tool. I invite you to click on the link right now. This is a video that I've done about a year and a half ago showing how powerful this tool is. And what we're going to do now is, as you notice, the cursor now has changed uh, into a two arrow cursor. So it means that basically I can click and start rotating going to the left or to the right until the horizon is the way I want it. So I think here it's a pretty good one. By releasing it, you basically get the same result as what we saw previously inside Lightroom. However, you see, last year, in June 2016, Adobe released a new version of Photoshop that was 2015.5. And in that version, well, there was a very important option added to the crop tool. And that option is right here. This is the icon right there. And if I hold it, it says content aware fields area outside the original image. What the heck does this mean? You might not actually see an icon. You may actually see a text. For example, on MacBook Pro, I have exactly the same version of Photoshop, but it says content aware instead of this icon. Well, basically, if I click on it, look what happens. You suddenly notice that we no longer crop our image per se, and some of some parts of the image is going to be rebuilt using the content aware feature of um, Photoshop. Content aware is an, an amazing feature uh, inside Photoshop. It makes the tool very magical because it analyzes um, the pixels around the image and basically going to rebuild the zone using that information. So here is going to rebuild the information that we were bound to lose or not have here in that corner on this one, bottom right and bottom left. So it's time for me to click enter. I could try to make the image even bigger, but I think that's just enough right now. So I click enter and it's going to um, compute and apply that um, crop and the content aware fix. And here's what we get. So now let's change the, um, the appearance of all the windows inside. Um, actually, before we do that, let's go back to Lightroom. And in Lightroom, I like to take this version and do a right click and edit in Photoshop. And what I want to do is I want to see the three versions inside Photoshop and we can compare and see what the differences are between the three. And to really see that, we're going to go to Window, Arrange, and we're going to do three up vertical. And now we have three window. So let's click inside this one and resize a bit. This one as well, let's resize it. So, uh, oh, not this one, sorry, uh, up this way, it's the one uh, in the middle, 
Okay, no, that's good. So the one that we have on the left is the one that we did inside Lightroom. And you notice it's not surprising that the image is actually smaller than the two others uh, because we trimmed a lot of information. Look at how much information we have at the bottom of this tree here to the edge compared to the two other images. More importantly, you notice that how much my subject is now feeling more the frame in the version that we did in Lightroom compared to the one that we did in Photoshop and compared to the, to the initial image. In fact, when you compare the one that we did inside Photoshop and you compare it to um, the one, the original image, and you do abstraction of the horizon line, you could say that the two images are actually identical. Uh, so that's the reason why i rather use Photoshop to fix the level, the horizon line inside my Photoshop, inside my photos, because if I frame a certain way, it's because I want all the information inside my frame. And so if I need to fix the horizon afterwards in Lightroom, I'm bound to lose so much of it that my frame is totally different from what I initially uh, previewed. So that's the reason. So you might be asking yourself, well, yeah, fair enough, but what if I do not have Photoshop CC 2017 or I don't even have a version after 2015.5 uh, where this content aware option was added to the crop tool. Well, in the blog article, the link is showing up right now here, but also in the description, not only do I actually show you exactly, again, what I've showed you here in the video, but I show you as well the alternative inside Photoshop. I show you how you can using uh, the size of your canvas, using the magic wand, using the um, the healing brush and the crop tool, you can obtain this result. But obviously that requires three steps, whereas now it's basically only one. So let me know in the comment what you think of uh, this tip of the day. Do you like this feature? Did you know of this feature? Do you find uh, it uh, interesting? And uh, hopefully you see the benefit of using Photoshop to crop, not only to crop, but to um, fix the horizon line in your photograph. Until next time, this is Tom got saying, if you like it, well, capture it. Cheers.